Actually, uh, Germany is under pressure regarding fiscal policies since uh, about 2013, 2014 at, um, at least, perhaps even since... Yeah, uh, the balanced budget, budget, and now that, that, that's not going to happen, is it? Well, during such a crisis, uh, it should not happen. Uh, while well, you have uh, sound fiscal policies in order to be able to uh, counteract such an economic crisis and, and uh, be able to have such expansionary fiscal policies. But it's not only the fiscal policy case. We are under pressure in other respects as well. When you think about industrial policy that is conducted by uh, uh, our Minister of Economic Affairs in several months, uh, this is uh, French, uh, French tradition to some uh, extent. And what you observe is as soon as it was clear that Britain is going to leave the US, uh, def the, 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 the EU definitely, um, it was also uh, clear that Germany would have to move a bit closer to the uh, French economic positions. Mm. In terms of where we're going next, I don't know if you saw the piece from um, UBS recently, and they, I don't know if they're overplaying it again, but they were saying the destiny of whether it's centre-right or centre-left government as well could dictate whether corona bonds are a one-off or actually this is going to be part of the DNA of Europe going forward? How do you feel about A, that presumption, and B, whether it's good for Germany? I think it's a good presumption. When you're going to have uh, a government led by Olaf Scholz, um, the Greens and the left party in a coalition, um, then uh, we have a, a good chance that these uh, European corona bonds will um, uh, last forever, that we will have um, the, 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 the possibility to incur government debt at the EU level uh, for a longer time. Um, if uh, you don't have well it. with Germany, will it? With well, the German population, will it? The German population don't, doesn't think that this is really uh, a useful thing. But why would they, they, they don't vote on that, though? They'll vote on other issues, won't they? No, they do not, not vote. vote about it, and it's not discussed in this election campaign at all. So this is one of the disappointments, I feel, uh, that we have serious issues to discuss and serious decisions well, to take well, in the next that? couple of months. Yeah, they, it's always about the economy, stupid. Not, not, that, that, that came from the, the Clinton administration. It's the economy, stupid, was, that, was the phrase either by him or one of his advisers. Well, if, any of the, if there's a country in Europe that knows more about the economy in terms of its population, it's the Germans as well. So why isn't it being discussed? Well, it's not being discussed because uh, the candidates are uh, much, much intensively debated in the first place. And second, Olaf Scholz uh, was, uh, still is able um, to uh, have a kind of detachment of his party. And uh, Scholz as such, he has um, uh, the uh, legacy during the last um, legislative term of having economic and fiscal policy um, uh, knowledge mm -hmm. and competence. And he uh, can actually demonstrate this competence to voters. And therefore, they trust him. But they do not realize that the party behind him is uh, much uh, more left-leaning than uh, uh, everybody uh, knows. So this really is, on this election, we could see two stunningly divergent governments, despite the fact that the SPD has been, or uh, uh, that, that Olaf Scholz has been a major part of the government for the last few years as well. Actually, it, it could really dictate quite aggressively the destiny of Germany as an industrial country and indeed its taxation policy and its attitude to debt. That's true. Uh, that is uh, what uh, needs to be done in the next uh, four years. And uh, the new government with the new chancellor has um, a lot of possibilities to change Germany in another direction. Um, I would not say that such a uh, left-wing government, uh, a pure left-wing government, is really probable. I think um, a government with the participation of the free Democrats is more probable. And their um, task will be uh, to keep um, um, uh, economic policies, fiscal policies, uh, a bit more to the middle of the political spectrum and, and not leaning too much to the left. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.